You wouldn't believe what we've been through. After months aloft, we limped into Melheim after weathering the most terrible storm. Winds like you wouldn't believe took our port engine clear off. If it weren't for my quick thinking, well... Oh, is that so? Please tell me more. Well, I managed to locate a spare condenser for our ship's engine. Unfortunately, still attached to another ship. So I come up with a little plan to acquire it. Got our captain to gear up in one of our old boarding suits, see if he can persuade the other crew to part with it. What about the previous? Pirates to a man, I assume. It was all above board. I didn't know we had pirates in Malheim. Not until recently. So our gallant skipper storms in, sound and fury. But no one was hurt. Maybe a few cuts and bruises, but they were mostly. It must have been terrifying for you. Oh no, you get used to these sorts of things. Mr. Young and I snuck around the back, unbolted the condenser so we could make a swift exit. What a marvellous tale. What did you say your name was again? Frederick Theroux, chief engineer, soon to be captain of the Storm Petrel. Elsie Newcomen, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Listen, I'd just love to hear more about you and your crew. I uh, happen to be having a dinner party tonight. Would you like to come? Say you will. That sounds exciting. Should we say... Eight bells? Splendid. You should bring this captain of yours. He sounds like quite the character. My fiancé must meet you both. To hear this wonderful tale of yours, of course. He's a captain in the Brigantine Sea <coughs> Company. <laughs> Splendid. Eight bells it is, then? Eight bells it is. <laughs> <laughs>